All right, let's talk about revolvers for a minute. If I can get my camera to stop shaking. There we go. Uh, so this is my Smith & Wesson Model 19-5. It's uh, one of the K-frames. The uh, 19-5 was made uh, 1982 to 1988. And basically all they did uh, from the 19-4 was they eliminated, uh, eliminated the cylinder counterbore and then they removed the pin barrel also. So this is the first year of uh, no pin barrels. And it is awesome. I mean, just the, the shape of this thing for uh, the six inch target 19.5. It does have uh, the serrated target barrel, or <laughs> the serrated target trigger, and then uh, the target hammer. And the older latch style, so you guys can tell it's old. I haven't dated this one, but it's between 82 and 88. <laughs> I mean, all together, the Model 19s, they were made from 1957, the first one came out, and they stopped production in 1999, and they started coming out with the Model 19 again, uh, maybe for their uh, Centennial Series or something, uh, in 2014, but this is the, also the, the wood-gripped uh, square butt. The blued carbon steel, you can also get this in uh, polished stainless. And it does have the adjustable rear sight and the sight picture on it. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's very accurate, especially uh, especially for longer ranges. It's, uh, it's a really nice, fun gun. And uh, I have had this, I don't even know, a couple years now. And got it from a friend, and he uh, basically it's like, yeah, just hold on to it for me. So I couldn't complain with that because I, I always love these. Uh, like the Model 19s, they were uh, basically on every single uh, police officer's hip from the 50s up until probably the mid 80s, late 80s when uh, the Glocks were starting to come out and semi-autos were getting more prevalent. But uh, six shot 357 is definitely a, a fun gun and a, it'll stop uh, They're probably usually carrying the four inch barrels, which is definitely uh, Probably something you would want to stick with for a duty carry gun. This is more of a of a fun target gun uh, Especially the six inch barrel. You're not gonna really conceal this like a uh, little J frame but man, things light too uh, and well, just to compare this to the, the 44 Magnum end frame, but uh, do a little size comparison. Uh, cylinders, you're gonna get a obviously a pretty big difference in thickness, and the uh, the frames themselves. You see the the end frames longer. Just, just beefier all over, obviously for that three fifty, uh, the forty four Magnum round, and uh, yeah, it's a great gun too. <laughs> but I also love this gun because everything's forged. Uh, you know, the trigger, the hammer's forged. Uh, it does have the firing pin in the hammer still, and just smooth gun all around. The trigger is great. You can stage it pretty easily and uh, single action is just probably three or four three or four pounds I'd say <coughs> I mean all Smith triggers are, are great and this thing is uh, this thing's heavy and double action but single action again is lighter than the 19 this thing's probably low three low threes if not in the uh, the high twos that's what it feels like at least I don't have a gauge but you know you see the difference in the latches these are the newer updated latches and the older I like the older style a little better these are fine but I just feel like I really have to dig in the, in my thumb to, to get it to unlatch like it rides over almost and then uh with these ones, it's just got a nice, 
it's just it just fits so good in your in your thumb. You know, you're not missing it. It's not gonna, it just catches perfect. It's just a nice little dish. All together, just great gun. Yeah, the bluing on it's amazing. Still, uh, it has not been reblued. It's all original condition. I have a couple chips here. Uh, I don't know from what, or it's almost almost white paint, but it does have a little bit of a nick on it. But I like the the square grip, but it's not my favorite grip. But uh, I'm not going to change them out or anything. Uh, like I did with these. I mean, this thing's my my backcountry gun, so the hull grips are, are great on it. And that thing used to bite like crazy. But also, we'll do the, the J frame. Uh, this is a, the MP 340, the Scandium frame. This thing is insanely light. I'll do a video on this soon. Uh, I actually just picked this up yesterday. Little five shot, 357. And uh, trigger is really heavy, also on it. Uh, I'll break it in, but you can stage it decently easy. But uh, yeah, I guess that would be about about right. So the K frame's a little longer, and they seem. Yeah, the J's just a little smaller in uh in the front of it, but it's not not a crazy amount. Maybe just yeah, just a little longer. But you're getting five six shots versus five shots. Cylinder's just a just a hair sh hair smaller. You know, you can see maybe a little bit difference, but uh I mean you know, you can definitely tell the difference between that. Uh, but, yeah, this is, uh, is uh, going to be an interesting gun. This thing's 13.8 ounces, and definitely going to shoot full load 357s out of it. I've shot J-frames with full loads before, and, uh, yeah, they're a pain, but they're, they're not awful. You shoot them enough, you'll, you'll get used to them. And then, I love the sights on this thing. They're the, the big dots. And it's got a nice U-cut in the back. And uh, definitely the best J-frame sight I've ever seen. And it comes on target really nice and easy. But we'll deal with that later. <coughs> Alright, well, just wanted to, to show this, guys. And uh, get this video out of the way, kind of. But a uh, great revolver. And uh, if you guys ever come across them and want an older 357, this is definitely be probably one of the most popular 357s you can find besides uh, the other K frame would be the model 66 in the three inch but if you can find one of those let me know because they are uh, they're pretty hard to find and if they are they're really expensive they only made them for uh, I think 1970 to 1976 or 78 not not a, a huge run on them but uh, that something I'm definitely trying to hunt down if, uh, if my pocketbook's okay but yep gotta love the Smith revolvers maybe I'll try a Ruger out one day but for now these are the, the three that I have right now and uh, I've had some old model 36 uh, chief specials with the flat latches and those are always fun but they're just heavy they're so they're, they're so heavy you can't really uh, carry them and it's more of a collector gun but I like carrying all, all my stuff and shooting it usually except for this thing I barely shoot this so uh, if you guys have any questions or any more information on these things let me know thanks